All right, we're back, and it looks like the A Squad, part two. It's Dean the Dream Jablonski in there. Against the game with Super Sports agent Brock Gutman. Let's go to Haas for the introduction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a singles match. Hits are district first. Haley from Buffalo, New York. Hit brought to the ring by his manager, Brock Gutman. Dean the Dream Jablonski. And his opponent. Well, Wes, Brock Guffman seems to be everywhere these days. When I get home, I'm going to look behind my shower curtain just to make sure. But he's got Dean Jablonski in a situation that he may live to regret. Because coming to the ring now is a former HWA heavyweight champion. He's big, he's nasty, and he's got a new attitude for 2002. Kick ass and take names. Hoss will introduce you to Ray Steele. Hailing from Albuquerque, New Mexico, he is All right, and we're ready. Well, oh, wait, wait a minute. minute. Looks like Race has something to say. You know, last week I spoke about how I've been down and out here in the HWA as of late. So Derek Nykirk had to learn the hard way that I'm now on my way back to the top. Tonight, I've got another big roadblock in Dean the Dream Jablonski. Jablonski? You're about to learn, just as Nykirk did, that no matter what you say, no matter what you do, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you will respect me. Respect yeah, what well, Ray Steele right up in D. Jablonski's face and making it good and plain that he's not going to be taking lightning in the HWA list. I'll tell you, you saw last week that he took uh, Derek Nykirk pretty well apart. Yeah. Dean Jablonski's well put together. He may be a tougher challenge, but just Ray Steele, he is just flat out aggressive of late. Absolutely, yeah. Steel on fire, man. No uncertain terms, as you said, wants to kick ass and take names. And you know what? He's not trying to do it with a lawyer. He's no. not trying to do it in the boardroom. He's trying to do it in the wrestling ring. Amazing. That's where he's supposed to do it, well, right? imagine that. <laughs> yes. Collar and elbow, and Steele comes up with a side headlock on Jablonski. Uh, spotting Jablonski probably about 15, 20 pounds here. Dean the Dream at about a hard 260. But uh, Steele at 240 and on fire, and boot to the midsection, gets right back into that headlock. Boy, Guffman is really, oh, wait a minute, swing and a miss there. Steele trying to duck out of the way. Oh, going for that backslide, and he's got him. Jablonski down. Count of two, couldn't make it stick. Uh, Brock Guffman sending his men more towards single matches of late. Yeah. Jablonski's, of course, former HWA tag team champions, but now Brock Guffman has all of his men involved in singles competition. I don't know what Guffman's got up his sleeve, but truthfully, I wouldn't trust Brock Guffman with last year's calendar. I agree, and apparently he's just trying oh, to get... Oh, look at this! Oh, speaking of trusting him, Steele had his back. Look at here. Looks like Steele's going to... No! Guffman able to drop him neck first across that spear by Dean the Dream. He'll see if he's going to get the win here. And he, a, a two count almost, but not quite. Well, he was getting hit from north, south, east, and west was Ray Steele and couldn't ever get a handle on it. Now, Jablonski going to work trying to cut Steele's wind off. And boy, I tell you, D'Lo Brown's head is still ringing back in the locker room. He was he was beaten senseless with that, that metal road sign and those big right hands of Steve Bradley. You know that thing's not going to be over with yet. No, it's sure not. It gets hotter all the time. You know, but D'Lo did one of the most honorable things he's ever done in his life at the very first part, you know, in January the 9th in Dayton when he gave Charlie a Haas, or R.C. Haas, that spot in that match. Uh, yeah, you know, that's probably the, the most noble thing that D'Lo Brown has ever done, and it comes to naught courtesy of Easy Money and his, his shyster lawyer, that ambulance chaser, as, as Charlie Haas said, R.C. Haas, of course, formerly known as Charlie Haas, but he took the name R.C. to honor his brother Russ as well. Wait a minute. Jablonski with a knee lift into the midsection, Ray Steele down and, and gasping for wind. Yeah, and we want to mention to you right now as Jablonski goes to the pin, he gets about a, a two and a half at the, this Wednesday night, February the 6th, Oscars Nightclub, Cincinnati, 700 West Beat Rose Way, and Longworth Hall presents HWA Wrestling, bell time 8 p.m. You must be 18 years of age or older. All the stars will be there, D'Lo Brown, Easy Money, The Island Boys, R.C. Haas, Ray Steele, Matt Stryker, and more. For information, 513-421-3007. Jablonski foiled in a pin attempt there on Ray Steele. Steele is still too strong. Of course, Les, later on in the program, we're going to have more news on that big return to Dayton, the Montgomery County Coliseum. On Wednesday night, February 13th, great HWA action. We'll talk more about that later on, as well as that... Huge lineup in Batavia at the Red Barn on Saturday, February 16th. But right now, Ray Steele coming out of the corner. 
Ray Steele with those knife edge chops. He is just gaining ground on Jablonski. Fought him all the way back across the ring. And look, he is blistering that no good son of a gun with those knife edge chops. Jablonski slowed down, gave Steele a chance just to get a second wind. And when he did, Jablonski suffered the consequences. Right now, he's able to cut him off again. Trying to get ready to arm whip him cross ring. Steele reverses the whip and catches an elbow for his trouble. See where Jabonski's going with this. Looks like he's gonna sunset. Whoa. No. Wait a minute, Ray Steele rolls through, top spread. Couldn't get him. Goes to that clothesline, but he grabs him that crucifix and gets a two count. Jablonski's able to kick out again. His power's keeping him in this one, Jim, but I don't know for how long. Boy, every move Jablonski makes, Ray Steele finds a way to counter it. Now he's going for the old victory roll. Shades of Jack Briscoe. Three, he got it. He's got it. Ray Steele pulls it out. Ray Steele with a victory and a hard fought one as well. But Gene, Dean Jablonski has gone down to defeat at the hands of the former HWA champion, Ray Steele. Yeah, cut and dried. Steele moves one step closer to his goal. Jablonski put up a battle, but Steele is on a mission. When we return, R.C. Haas gets his chance to regain the HWA heavyweight belt. <laughs> 